This video will demonstrate how to find the Pearson and Spearman correlation coefficients. Since a correlation is a measure of the linear relationship between two variables, it is a good idea to first graph the two variables with a scatter plot. We do this by selecting Grass, Legacy Dialogs, then Scatter Dot. We select Simple Scatter and then Define. We move disease duration to the x-axis and glucose to the y-axis. The scatter plot appears to show a somewhat positive relationship between disease duration and glucose, but there are a couple of observations noticeably removed from the trend line. There is a patient with a disease duration of 25 years and a glucose level below the trend line and another patient with a disease duration of five years and a glucose level above 250. These two observations could adversely affect the Pearson correlation coefficient. Now we will find the correlations. And to do this, we select Analyze, Correlate, and then Bivariate. We move the variables we want to correlate into the variables box. Here, disease duration, and glucose. Underneath in the correlation coefficients we see Pearson is already checked as a default. We will also check the box next to Spearman. The first table shows the Pearson correlation and it equals 0.243 with a p-value of 0.160 so it is not statistically significant. The next table shows the non-parametric Spearman's row correlation which equals 0.388 with a p-value of 0.021. This is statistically significant. In this example, we see the two outliers reduce the Pearson correlation. It is also possible for outliers to cause the Pearson to be statistically significant, while the Spearman is not significant. This completes the demonstration and how to find the Pearson and Spearman correlation coefficient.